about Frank, and you know what keeps nagging at me? What's that? That he just gets away with it. That he's worked the system so no one can touch him. We try to hurt him, but it never sticks. I'm sensing a plan. Frank has an anger problem, right? I'm thinking, maybe one afternoon, he comes home and loses it. Wrecks his house and takes it out on those nearest and dearest. Then, some innocent bystander calls and tips off the press says, when is this violence going to end? The only industry in this town Frank doesn't own. Exactly. The cops will be forced to do something with the public watching. Do you think you could break in and do the job? Sure. on the reported shooting that occurred earlier today inside the Fire and Vice strip club. After receiving an anonymous call, police arrived on the scene to check out reports of excessive gunfire coming from within the building. According to officials, the first officer on the scene spoke with Fire and Vice's new owner, Karen Olson, who assured the officer the noise heard by the club's neighbors was caused by a construction crew renovating the building. After a lengthy inspection of the club's new VIP room, the officer was satisfied and departed the scene, giving this news story a somewhat anticlimactic ending. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. We blew through eight red lights, or if that sweet nugget you brought home from the derby turned out to be 14. We got a little thing in this country I like to call the constant freaking two shit. Hear that? America's on your side. No matter what the situation, no matter what the body count, I'm willing to get my hands dirty for you. So when you need a friend, you give me a call. 555, be silent. Sans the man, man, count the old, you'll push and go, and bright man, you'll prove it. <laughs> Rockers, it's that time of day when I get to give away a couple free concert tickets. Today we've got two general admission passes to Rosie Palm and the Fast Five, playing this Friday night in the arena at La French Baguette Casino. The 10 player is going to have to answer our trivia question of the day to win them. Looks like it's my lucky day. On this property, 
The penalty for trespassing is death! Hi, I just heard some gunshots in my neighborhood, coming from the Veliano place. I called the police, but they're useless. When are the cops gonna do something about the gang violence in this town? <laughs> that ought to get Frank's attention. Frank's gonna go berserk. He probably already is. The headline on the Gazette's website is, Vegas cops continue to ignore gang violence. That was fast. Technology's a beautiful thing. you threw a party at Frank's. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> Want to throw another one? Where? 
His top capitanos and associates will be slumming it and holding a meeting at the Street of Dreams trailer park. Maybe we should swing by and pay him a visit. Whoa. Are we, like, sharing a brain? <laughs> Customer of mine lives there has agreed to leave a little, um, toy for us. Can't wait. kind of companionship, then don't forget about sexy senior si
man and smell like a Viking. Wow, a real life Viking. That's right, little wee man. I can smell the failure on you from across the room. But there's a solution. Long Sword Body Wash. The only body wash that'll make you smell like a real Viking. Come here. Stop. Ah, ah, I'm not comfortable with this. I... Oh. Stop squirming, you baby. These rocks are cutting me. They're exfoliation feet. I'm bleeding. That's what men do, boy. They bleed. Now, let's go see what your wench thinks of this. Hey, Janet. You Take wanna... me now, you godless beast. Oh. Long sword body wash. Oh. All right. For all the rockers out there who want a mama, this is what by Pop Levi. Let's just say Frank's guys seemed a little burned out. Ah, well, the daily grind takes a toll on the bad and the good. No, I mean they're toast. Ah, ha ha! We spirits dance to thee, great mortal. <laughs> Most excellent. 